Since the mid-50s, the British public had turned en masse to BBC Radio for their chart fix. But all that was about to change. One of three songs that sticks in this week's Network Top 10. Faces, faces everywhere from Two Unlimited. Commercial Radio's Network Chart Show had been a lesser-known alternative to Radio 1 since 84. When the show was reinvented around a new presenter in 93, the battle of the chart shows would commence. I think at that time, the Radio 1 chart had five times as many listeners as the commercial radio chart, and our big battle was to find a way of giving us some credibility. Seven new entries today, and this booms in at hit song seven. Radiohead and Creep, they're a five-piece band from Oxford, originally released this single last summer, but it fell short of the top 75. But it's been a big hit on the American top 40, and so they've re-released it here. Radiohead, Creep, well done, guys. From the outset, the BBC had one massive advantage. It was the only organisation contracted to broadcast the official top 40. But they hadn't reckoned with crafty commercial radio executives. OK, if we can't have the top 40, can we have the top 10? And I think they looked at their contracts and going, uh, it doesn't say anyway, you can't have the top 10, but you can't have the top 40. So they went, we'll have the top 10 then. At Radiohead are going to have a few drinks tonight. That was problematic for Radio 1 because Radio 1's authority of being the only place to have the official chart was bit by bit eroded and the top ten is the biggest bit and it's where people want to see where their, the latest records are. The top ten has a non-mover at number ten, it's Erasure with who The way they like did a chart was at 40, at 39, at 38, all the way down to and at number one it is Blah. And what we decided to do was, if that's the way they're going to do it, we need to do it in a different way. Right, stand in the air, wave your hands around like you just don't care. The highest climber is up 33 at this week's number three. <laughs> DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. Boom, boom. Nas was all about, you know, hard DJing, you know, cranking it to the max and really getting in there. Do you know, I think I'm going to get completely naked during this song. Let's get right on, girls. And Neil and I had a definite professional rivalry. I was very belligerent about the Radio 1 chart being best. He, I think, was much more relaxed about it. When it came to a public voice, of course, I wanted to nail Gucci. I wanted to, I wanted to kill him. The top ten goes like this. No change of ten, Mariah Carey, dream lover. I remember being quietly furious that anybody else thought that they could broadcast the charts but Radio 1, especially Foxy. You know, moving the charts from Radio 1 is like going to the Tower of London and, you know, getting a catapult at the Ravens. You can't do that. are the number one. It worked. Within, I think, about 18 months, we had, we had managed to bring the audience levels up. By about two and a half years, we were ahead, and, and we stayed ahead for the next 10 years. In fact, I think we're still ahead now. <laughs> 